What's up guys, Maritime Spook here. Got a really cool product from uh, my Instagram friends uh, over at Pocket Strop. Uh, there'll be a link in the description to their Instagram. You can get a hold of them guys and uh, get yourself a really good strop. And what this is, this is a carbon fiber uh, model. And I believe uh, this one also is carbon fiber. And this is their keychain model. And both of these have different uh, grit compounds to them. Your black compound is for getting a blade that uh, is, you know, pretty decently dull to getting it sharp again. And uh, your red compound is for the second step after that, which is this one, and I've been using it quite a bit already, you can see. Um, this is the second step to that, to mirror polishing and putting that very fine edge on it. So I just want to show you a couple, uh, couple knives. Um, Started out with this uh, triple X, and uh, this was my most used bushcraft knife um, for a long time, and it still is one I, I still love taking out. But uh, it was dull, uh, it wasn't dull like dull, dull, but it needed a good touching up. And I have touched it up, guys, uh, a little bit on this, and I'll show you a little bit of how, uh, how this works, I guess. So you would take your strop. And you're going to want to run, and this is, a, this is a small strop for ease of use. And you're going to run that, find the angle. And run that back and forth on the strop. And where this is a smaller strop, bigger ones, guys, obviously you can take and run the whole, whole knife. I found the best way to do this one is to do it in sections. And keep it running back and forth like celery to the tip and then flip it over find your angle once again and same idea and what this is doing if you're not familiar with stropping is taking the little Microsoft microscopic uh, fibers is taking those little fibers and little chips on the blade off and it's me evening out your edge again so that's how it ends up getting so sharp a little bit of compound still on there, but I'll show you here, guys. I've already shaved off a bunch of hair on this arm, but I'll show you again. You can see those hairs there now. Falling off. So you can get this, and this was not shaving sharp before that goes. So I got the Triple X uh, Privateer shaving sharp, just for the pocket straps, guys. I only had before leather belt with the wrong kind of compound. I didn't. I'm not gonna even lie, guys. I didn't know as much about uh, stropping as I do now. So now I got, you know, got it down pat. And another really good knife, a uh, good knife that works well with the strop. I mean, is this new Yakut knife that I got just recently. What's cool about this is this knife, you just lay it flat, and same thing, run it back and forth. And you just lay that flat. Give that a few strops, and like I said guys, I already stropped these last night. Clean up some of that compound a bit. Here, there. It's hard to see the hair in here, guys, but hair is coming off. So, tip. This thing is wicked, wicked sharp now, guys. Almost like scary sharp. And, of course, if you were to keep doing that, you could end up putting a mirror edge on this. And I probably will once I get more compound. Compound at the end of it. But uh, it makes your knife super sharp, guys. I love them. <laughs> it makes some hair popping sharp. And I uh, just really love, I really love these uh, little straps. Uh, another thing that uh, they sent along 
this cool little skull lanyard. And it's Halloween, so that's really cool that I got that right before Halloween. And I got that on my EDC knife, which is the uh, Cold Steel Mini AK-47. But uh, that's a great little EDC knife. I got another video coming up of that. But long story short, guys, stay tuned with these pocket straps. I'm going to be do, having to use them in more videos. I'm going to put them right in my pack after this. And when I'm out and about, we'll do some stropping and videos. And, uh, you know, as we're using the knives, we'll do some stropping to keep them maintained. That was the whole point of this. So I'm going to have links in all those videos and a link in this description so you can check out Pocket Strop. They have uh, um, they have uh, things where you can put together and buy three or three strops at a time uh, for a deal. Uh, they have these, uh, like I said, these keychain uh, size ones, which are just great. Yeah, I've been using the heck out of this one, guys, and i got to get some compound. Um, you can buy the compound from them, too. Uh, I may get into getting some of that, and you can also get your own compound and reload them. Uh, but they have some really good stuff. I've seen a lot of the comments people have made that uh, the stuff that they're using is just top of the line, and they keep buying it because they really like it. So just something to look at, guys. Uh, great for the pack. Um, what's cool about these is that you're always going to have them with you because they don't weigh anything and they're just small. They can fit right in your pack, right in your pocket. Hence the word pocket strop. And uh, away you go. So think about it this way, guys. If you're out and you're skinning a deer, skinning a moose, you're a trapper and you're skinning furs, you're going to be able to strop and keep your tool sharp all the time without having your home. A lot of a lot of big strops, guys. There's a lot of strops at home are you know 18 inches, two feet long. This is something that you can maintain the tools in the field and have it right in your pocket or the top, you know, top pocket of your pack and away you go. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go and uh, we'll use these again. If the lighting was better, I could show you show you a little bit better, but my arms took a beat and we're shaving the hair off of it. But uh, they weren't like that before. So very, very happy with the pocket straps. And uh, like I said, there'll be a link in the description. And when we're sitting around, when this rain goes away and I'm doing that series, We'll sit around the campfire and we'll do some stropping of the knives and uh, we'll have another, mostly have another talk about the, these strops as well. These are just a quick thing to show you. Um, super, super nice people uh, to deal with. These are premium materials, guys, too. Uh, it's vegetan, leather, carbon fiber. So premium materials, their strops are made out of. And uh, you'll be seeing them in more videos. So stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned on uh, Instagram because I'm going to do a tutorial on there. And when we're out outside and around the camp or somewhere like that, when I get my camp set up, we'll uh, do a whole video of just dropping some different knives. So anyway, guys, Spook sign out. Stay safe. Keep your stick on the ice. And uh, I appreciate you.